you know, day one at the NFR um, sure feels a lot better this year than it did last year. You know, last year I barely missed the finals. This year I'm coming in second, so it feels great. Just a level of dedication. You know, always before I envisioned myself as an NFR qualifier, you know. And after last year, just barely missing, it lit a fire in me that I've never had before. You know, I expected to make the NFR. And after that, I changed my goal from being an NFR qualifier to a world champ. That's my goal. That's what I wake up dreaming about. That's what I think about 24 hours a day. And it showed in, in how I performed this year. You know, I went from being a top 10 guy to a top five guy all year long. And that, to me, is the biggest difference. Plus, having a great wife doesn't help hurt either. Well, actually, we didn't even do a honeymoon. We, we left uh, the wedding and went to a jackpot roping. So um, we didn't do one yet, but actually as soon as we get done here, uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning at 6 a.m., we fly to Tahiti. Uh, we're gonna spend, I think, six days in Bora Bora, and then we're gonna go to Australia for two weeks. So it should be good. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like one huge adrenaline rush. I, I, I could say that, you know, back in the box or this or that, but I tell you what, when Cowboys come out here to Vegas, we're pretty much, the closest things that we're ever going to be to being a celebrity you know you can't walk 20 feet without stopping and talking to somebody and for me that's great because I'm a people person I like talking to people I like to get know get to getting to know people I would just say definitely just the energy in Vegas has to be my favorite thing about the NFR